<laughs> yeah. Bomb pop. What? Hello, welcome to my workshop. My name is Chris Pine. Uh, it's just a little spoof there for you for Steve Carmichael's benefit. <laughs> I, I liked his comment about my uh, push stick for the joiner. Anyway, Time with Pine, 2015 number seven already. And uh, just turned a couple pins this last week. And what a good response I got. And it wasn't just because of the contest, I don't think. It's just that a lot of people, you see something you uh, have not done and that you like, perhaps. and there's just a, really a lot of interest and a very good response, and I appreciate that very much. Some of the questions I was getting are fairly good questions, fairly general questions. And what I thought I would do right quickly is just show you, and I'm just scratching the surface here, uh, with pen blanks, and I have some of the pens that I've made. And as you see behind me, the uh, bins of pen blanks. Uh, I'm actually quite proud that that's all I have at this moment because I had a lot more than that at one time. Uh, pen turning and pen turners, uh, you collect blanks like mad and you never can hardly turn down buying more it seems like. So I want to show you real quickly just a few of the different types of pen blanks that I have here currently uh, in my possession and uh, there's all other kinds of options. It's really amazing the last uh, five to ten years what they've come up with as far as what you can turn on a lathe to make a pen. So let's take a look. Um, I just kind of lined these up in, in no real particular order. They're a little bit of organized here, but uh, a lot of the acrylic blanks, and, and here's a couple here. This is literally grape nut cereal <laughs> in an acrylic material. And, and when you turn it, it, it just has a... I haven't turned these before, but I have them, and I need to get to it here eventually. Uh, but they have a really neat look to them when they're done. Uh, someone asked if I ever turned Osage Orange uh, for a... I think that's what they asked me about, uh, for a pen. And I have... I don't have a pen that's finished with Osage right now. Actually, this one here has a little band of Osage Orange on it. And uh, this actually is, as an example of a unique blank, this is sunflower seeds in resin. And I think they call that Dakota Burl. I think it really looks interesting. These other blanks, uh, some of these are unique. Uh, this here is, I can't remember which brand of whiskey it is, but they sell the barrel uh, red oak material. As you can see, this is charcoal. It's been burnt. Well, that's the inside of the barrel and they use that to age whiskey in and it literally smells exactly like where it came from it smells like whiskey uh, this is some this is a regular burl and you really can't hardly tell by looking at a viewfinder but it's not stabilized and these are burls that are uh, they're infused with resin to make them turning uh, more stable and a lot easier uh, here's another example of a crazy thing is this is shredded up money in resin and uh, I have not turned one of those either uh, some more resin and uh, this has uh, coffee beans in it <laughs> I understand it smells like coffee obviously when you turn it let's move on down these are some examples these are some examples of resin blanks they they have come so far people are so creative uh, with what they cast in resin and uh, even Peter Brown would be envious, I think. <laughs> but it's pretty cool what they can do with resins these days. It really makes some different and attractive pens. Uh, and there's those, say, orange blank, like I talked about. These here are olive wood blanks. And uh, what makes them just a little extra special is this is olive wood that's actually from Bethlehem over in Israel. So it has a little sentimental value to many people that way. Uh, here's some examples. This is a store-bought blank, but you could certainly make this on your own just as easy. You just uh, glue up layers of wood. It's a good way to use up scraps. And then this one was cut, obviously, diagonally. Uh, that's an example of one I did myself, and I haven't used it yet, but that's well, maple and walnut. Uh, it is also, pen turning is also a great way to use up scrap pieces of wood, like I said. And here's an example 
of a scrap that I would probably throw away otherwise, but someday I'm going to drill this and do a side grain pan with it, end grain pan rather. And I've done similar things before. They really turn out nice. Uh, some of the pens that I have uh, still just sitting around that I've already done obviously are, are these and these are all twist type pens and uh, you can do a lot with just the basic two dollar pen kit uh, slimline pen kit these are not all slimlines but many of them are and you can do a lot with that you do not have to stay thin and just as an example here is my very first pen that I turned. This looks horrible, <laughs> pitiful, but I kept it because it just reminds me how far I've come. That's just a few examples. And uh, one of the other things that I don't know if all pen turners do it, I suspect they probably do, is they keep the weirdest stuff. And uh, this is from a trimming off the cherry tree in the backyard. Here's some more trimmings off of trees. Uh, blanks, just pieces of wood that you have. Uh, there's a glue up I did with some maple and walnut. Here's a piece of walnut that just has a lot of figure in it. So a lot of things you can do in pen turning and on the lathe. It's a lot of fun. One of the questions that I had asked was asked frequently uh, from this last video was where I get my pen turning supplies from and I answered in the comments but I'll answer here as well. I get my pen kit supplies from wood turnings with a z at the end dot com. There are many many places you can buy pen kits. I like wood turnings. They've treated me well over a lot of years. I remember when Ryan, uh, the owner of the company there, was just starting out and his prices at the time and actually still currently uh, are much better than many other dealers. So I've been buying from them for a long time and I'm very happy. So that's where I get my stuff from. Like I said, do a little research. There's many, many places to buy pen blanks, pen kits, and other supplies. I'm going to wrap up this week's time with Pine. Thanks so much for watching and for all your support. I really do appreciate it. I know I say it a lot, but I really do. Thanks a lot. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. It doesn't hurt. This is not drugs. You can say yes. Go ahead. Anyway, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. God bless. Can we use a small parting tool, or a small skew rather, to round over the edges on the inside of this groove here?